of certiorari with the Davidson County Chancery or Circuit Court. Your appeal must be filed within 60 days of the date of the entry of the Commission's decision. We advise that you seek your own independent legal advice to ensure that your appeal is filed in a timely manner and that all procedural requirements have been met. I ask for an approval of today's agenda. We have a first and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Ask for approval of the meeting minutes of last month. So moved. We have a first. Is there a second? We have a first and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, those are approved. Approval of the consent agenda. Please note that items on the consent agenda will be voted at a single time. No individual public hearing will be held, nor will the commission debate these items unless a member of the audience or the commission requests that the item be removed from the consent agenda. Consent agenda 18-12, mandatory referrals. Uh, 2019-003-AB-001, a request for the partial abandonment of easement rights and right-of-way for a 10-foot strip on the east side of 53rd Avenue North from Louisiana Avenue to alley number 1208, requested by Metro Public Works <coughs> and Dell and Associates applicants, Christopher D. McElhaney owners. Traffic regulations, item B, Authorize an all-way stop at Woodard Avenue in Nance Lane, requested by Council Member Sledge, who's here with us today. Reduce the speed limit on Belmont Boulevard from 30 miles per hour to 25 miles per hour between I-440 and Portland Avenue, requested by Metro Public Works. And item D is reduce the speed limit on Robinson Road from 50 miles per hour to 45 miles per hour between Merritt Street and the bridge over the Cumberland River, requested by Council Member Hager. I move to approve the consent agenda. So moved. We have, is there a second? second? We have a first and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. That's been approved. New business. Authorize a loading zone at 438 Houston Street from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday, requested by Michael Dukes, who I know is here. And this is in your district, Council Member Sledge. Uh, Mr. Knopf, any comments? Diane. Diane. Okay, Ms. this Ms. application was received by Mr. Duke. Uh, the request is for a loading zone on Houston Street. The nature of the business is they're going to be loading and unloading furniture at this location. Staff recommendation is for approval. Okay. Any comments from commissioners or anyone? Is there a motion to approve? So moved. We have a first. Is there a second? Second. First and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? It's been approved. Congratulations, Mr. Dukes. <laughs> Deferred business. Authorize the valet parking at Montrose at 2526 12th Avenue South, requested by the parking management company. Council member Sledge, I think this is in your district. I don't think anyone here is from the parking management company, are they? Okay, if you'd like to come forward and speak about this matter. This was deferred from last meeting. So, thank you, board. So, so we, we def y'all deferred it last month at my request, and I thank you for doing that. It was to for them to come to a community meeting. So the community meeting occurred, um, and for whatever reason, um, I was there. It was a neighborhood potluck, and I was there about 10 minutes in, and I was told that a representative, I was told by the neighborhood association chair that a representative came, grabbed a plate of food and left uh, before I had gotten there in the 10 minutes. Um, the applicant who came last time and I have emailed since and I informed him that I had been told this, that I could not support their request if they had not met with the neighborhood. Um, that person, the applicant had told me that his employee had told him he had stayed there for 40 minutes um, and was not there. and. I said, well, I had a name tag on and everything, so I don't know how we missed each other. But all that to say, I told this applicant I can't support this request until they actually physically meet with the Neighborhood Association. Diane also forwarded me today there's been a resident complaint about parking problems getting worse on Montrose. Um, I know the applicant said that they 
fire folks if they park in the neighborhood, um, but there seems to be a worsening issue. And then there was a business owner who is right on the other side of that corner um, who's trying to get more information too. So that is what I know. Thank you, council member. Is there need a deferral? Would you like a deferral or would you? Well, th you this might be the point where I turn to Diane because they were, I think, temporarily operating, if, I, if I'm correct. They were temporarily operating with a temporary permit at this location. I have not had any additional communications with them in regards to this location since our last meeting. They were made aware of your meeting that you were having on December the 3rd. So we as staff could recommend either a one month deferral to give additional time to get details together or denied. If we deny it, it cannot come back to the commission for another six months. Commissioners, any comments, motions? Um, uh, council member, in the, your communication, did it sound like they wanted to come back and talk to the community members or were they just kind of like we went there and felt like they had done it? Uh, the, the applicant, I will say, said that he was committed to coming to, if it's held on the regularly scheduled date, to the January community meeting. He personally to come. Um, he had sent supposedly an employee to this month's meeting. It's always the first, that, that neighborhood association always meets on the first Monday of the month. So it meets before your January meeting. I'll, I'll, I'll make a motion to move it to one month and see if they can get it worked out. If they can't, then we'll just go away. All right. We have a motion to defer. Second. We have a first and a second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Okay. We'll defer it for a month. Thank you, Council Thank Member. You. Okay. Uh, the next two items relate to Council Member Bednay, who's here with us today. Item two is to authorize a three-way stop at Old Hickory Boulevard at Barnes Road, requested by Council Member Bednay. And item three is authorize a three-way stop at Old Hickory Boulevard at Pettis Road. All right, staff, uh, Council Member. Yeah, typical always stop that we we've seen numerous times where the distribution of traffic is not in that 50-50 range that we look for and the accident history is pretty clean. So we, with our engineering caps on, turn it down and we want to hear from the councilman or the neighbor or whoever requested it to see what the real story is on why you would want it if it doesn't meet the engineering criteria. You see the numbers in front of you, 7624, that's the main number to look at. Um, and we're looking more for 50-50 or 40-60. With that said, Corby, can you flip the other data up for Pettis. One more, I think. Same there, 70-30-ish. So when you have that kind of distribution, there's probably more to the story, and that's why the councilman can, can fill us in on what's going on, more than just the traffic data. Council member. Come forward, please. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I come after a Sledge, who's cooler than me, so I hope that that's okay. <laughs> well, thank you for your service, uh, and thank you for asking me to talk about this. Uh, our roads are uh, were designed for carriages, like horses and buggies, and they're very wind. They wind a lot, and they are very narrow. And we find that uh, uh, they tend to be unsafe. We've had. I mean, I think if you look through. The accidents, you see that uh, we had some accidents because people forget that it's such a narrow and winding road and they tend to pick up a lot of speed. And also because of GPS, people tend to uh, cut through uh, those winding roads to avoid the main roads, Nolensville and Bell Road and so forth. What's, uh, what's happening here is uh, uh, we're getting a brand new park just east of this. The park is going to be the Orchard, Orchard Bend Park. That's going to be on Pettis, uh, going uh, over uh, close to the school. And uh, we were able to uh, work with, uh, with Public Works and the park system to put a roundabout. And so in talking about the roundabout uh, with the community and sharing the information with them about the new park and 
uh, the traffic that this will create and the new developments that are coming online. I call them zombie developments because they were all asleep and now they are all coming online at the same time. Uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is that those numbers you have are maybe describing the situation right now, but as all these projects come online and, and the park and so forth, those intersections are going to be very busy. And uh, so the community requested uh, that I work on getting those, uh, those all-way stops on those two intersections. And having been in the council law for a long time now, uh, I'm on my last year, I know that there's always two sides to every story, so I decided to do a poll and to ask people, do you really want this? And it was overwhelming. People really wanted this uh, because they are concerned that they get to that intersection and they cannot see because of all the overgrown brush, they cannot see the vehicles coming in. And they're afraid to come into, into the intersection. So having a three-way stop will allow people to safely navigate and, and turn into, into the other road. Uh, Barnes Road, is, it's a bigger problem. It's, it's not only uh, blinded by brush, but by the topography. So if you're parked on Barnes Road, you wanna see if a vehicle is coming from Old Hickory Boulevard, it's almost impossible to see. So uh, that's the main reason to request this. It's, it's a response to uh, people's request for safer ways to navigate. It's us being a little bit proactive about the very soon, uh, very uh, fast coming uh, development all, all over the place. Uh, there's also the issue of uh, construction traffic that we find. And some of those big dump trucks, and I said dump, I hope I didn't sound like I was uh, <laughs> using bad language. They tend to rush through the middle of the road, uh, and so it's 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 scary to turn into a road and see all of a sudden a big dump truck coming your way. So I think this is this is going to be a, a good way to keep those intersections safe and to uh, remove some of the stress people feel about uh, uh, moving around the district. So I'm I'm hoping that you guys will support my request. Uh, I, I respect the work the engineers do a lot, uh, and so please don't take this as a <laughs> denunciation of your work. I just think this, in this case, uh, uh, the community is very clear that they want to see those, uh, those intersections improved this way. Thank you, council member. Any comments from the commissioner? I think everybody wants everybody to slow down. Yes. So that's kind of what we're looking at everywhere. Um, I understand public works position about it, but I'm a big proponent of stop signs and lowering speed limits, as y'all can tell, because we've got a lot of traffic in this town and people are just driving too fast. And we got the bicyclists and the scooters and everything else around here. and. I'm sorry, people just need to slow down. That's all I've got to say, so um, I'm, I'm okay with this. All right, so is that a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 I think we need to have two votes. What? Right. We'll need to, I think we need to have two votes. We have two separate items. So okay. if you make another. I'll make a motion for the uh, Pettis Road and Oakwood Boulevard. Okay. The other one was for Barnes, so this one will right. be for Paris. Okay. All right, we have a first. Is there a second? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Congratulations, Council Member. It's been Thank approved. you. Thank uh, you. Appreciate it, and Merry Christmas to all of you. All right, Merry Christmas to you as well. All right, so those are all our agenda items, but before we uh, adjourn, uh, first of all, I think all of us on the Commission staff would. Uh, Send our condolences to you, Chip. Is uh, if you've lost a parent, there's no good time, but particularly over the holidays, it makes it even tougher. So, but uh, so we extend our condolences, empathy to you and your family. And then we hope everybody has a great uh, Christmas, and we'll see everybody in 2019. So make a motion to adjourn. There's a motion to adjourn, <laughs> and it's been approved. We've adjourned. Thanks, sir. This has been a service of the Metro Nashville Network. If you would like to see this presentation again, or for more information about this and other programs,
visit nashville.com.